Praise the Lord. Greetings everyone in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us meditate on today's scripture which is Isaiah 54th chapter 14th verse. The Bible says, God says in Isaiah 54th chapter 14th verse, In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be free, you shall be far from oppression for you shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. So God says in Isaiah 54th chapter 14th verse, In righteousness you shall be established. So we have to understand from where we get this righteousness. We get this righteousness from Lord Jesus Christ. When we believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, when we accept Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as our Lord and Savior, when we believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, when we believe that He is a Son of God, and when we believe that He died for our sins and rose again from the dead, and He seated on the right hand side of Father God Almighty, we believe, when we believe that He is the resurrected Lord, we receive the righteousness of God. When we believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we receive the righteousness of God. And when we receive this righteousness, Bible says, in this righteousness, you shall be established. So when we, be, when we believe this truth, when we accept this truth, that in righteousness we are established, then we are free from every oppression and we are free from every depression. We are free from every bondage and we are free from every fear. We are free from every terror. No terror can attack us. No fear can attack us or no oppression, depression can harm us. We are free from every kind of oppression and depression. We are the people of God. We are the children of Almighty God. We are the righteousness of God through Lord Jesus Christ. Through the finished work of Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, we are the righteousness of God. And we have to believe this truth that we are the righteousness of God. We are the people of God. We are the children of Most High God. We are seated on the right hand side of Father God Almighty in Christ Jesus as the righteousness of God. When we believe this truth, when we confess it, when we believe it with all of our heart, then we are free from every oppression, depression any terror or fear. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to believe in the word of God. We have to understand the truth. We have to believe that God loves us. We have to believe in the word of God. We have to confess the scriptures in our lives. We have to believe the promises of God through Lord Jesus Christ, through the finished work of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On the cross of Calvary, we have to believe in the promises of God. We have to receive the blessings that comes in the promises of God. When we believe in the word of God, we are more than conquerors through the love of God. Hallelujah. So we have to understand in righteousness when we are established, when we believe that we are the righteousness of God, when we are established in the righteousness of God, we are free from every oppression. Oppression, depression, fear, terror, all these belongs to the people who don't belong to God. And blessings, peace, joy and comfort, victory, success, everything belongs to the people of God. Children of God are free from every oppression. Children of God are free from every depression. Children of God are free from every failure. Children of God are free from every sin, from every condemnation, from every curse, from every depression. We are free as the children of God from every attack of the devil and any weapon that is formed against us will never prosper. When we read these scriptures, when we read this chapter, Isaiah 54th chapter, and this is verse in Isaiah in, in this chapter that uh, 17th verse says, Isaiah 54th 17th verse says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. What is the heritage 
of the servants of the Lord. What is the heritage of the children of Most High God? The heritage of the children of Most High God is righteousness. The heritage uh, that we receive from God the Father is His righteousness through Lord Jesus Christ. And when we are, when we believe that we are the righteousness of God, any weapon that is formed against us will never prosper, dear brothers and sisters. And every tongue which rises against us in judgment, that tongue will be condemned. We are free from condemnation, but whoever are speaking against, against us, those who are not having the fear of God, those who don't belong to God when they speak, they shall be condemned. So today be encouraged with the word of God, that we are the righteousness of God. Be encouraged in the word of God. Be encouraged with the scripture that we are established in the righteousness of God. And no weapon that is formed against us will never prosper. We are the blessed children of Most High God. And when we believe this truth, we are blessed people. Dear brothers and sisters, today, once again, I am reminding you, believe in the scriptures, believe in the promises of God, read the Bible, meditate upon the word, and pray you are blessed. In Jesus' name, Amen.